Welcome back, everybody, to our playthrough of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. When last we left off, we took forever coming from that area, which is the entirety of the Beneath the Well, but it was good to get it out of the way. And uh, as the reward for our hard work, we got the Mirror Shield, which is now equipped to us, and I realized in the last segment that it looks like a weird, distorted face. And now we're in the ancient Castle of Icana, or Ikana, or Icana, or something. And this place has some of the best music in the game. And when we get up, I'm just going to let it play for a little while. God, this music is so badass. At least I always thought it was. Uh, and while we're up here, I might as well show... Throughout the entirety of our time here in Icana, um, Tattle has been, every once in a while, going crazy at certain spots. And when you actually hear it, she says, I can't see it, I sense there's a thirst for blood. A mask that can summon the unseen. As a matter of fact, we do. If you put on the Garrow's mask, and there we are. <laughs> I always thought this the option to fight these things was very bizarre. But when you do fight them... They all say this. Regrettable, although my rival, you are spectacular. They, oh, they reveal, quote-unquote, wisdom. And they all give you little hints. And that is hinting at the fact that we need um, a... What's it called? A uh, powder keg. And then they always close with this. Belief or disbelief rests with you. To die without leaving a corpse is the way of the Garrow. And he vanishes. Now those are all over the place here in the canyon. And we are not going to hit all of them. But some of them are kind of interesting. Okay, one more. Master, you called. Now that is hinting at something that we'll find out about later. Regrettable, although my rival, uh, entering the castle, there's a secret route apart from the well entrance. And what we just went to, blocked by a block that has the face of the sun on it, that is the secret entrance. Which, now that we have the mirror shield, we can actually open it. But we don't need to worry about it right now, because since we're in here, we have everything we need. Oh no, Redeads, what are we going to do? Quick, throw on the Garrow Mask! And then this starts happening. I have read up as much as I can on the entire, like, idea behind Majora's Mask, and I've never understood why this happens. But I gotta admit, it's pretty hilarious. Yeah, they won't attack you no matter what you do, no matter how close you get, but that leaves them as easy targets for us! And they leave lots of rupees, so... Double fine! All right, we are going to keep this mask on throughout the entire temple. Now we can go up two ways. Um, we're going to eventually do both. I'll go ahead and open both of them. I don't remember immediately which way is the best, but we're going to go right, because from what I remember, this has things that we need to do in it, maybe? We'll find out. Okay, never mind. Um, oh, that was pretty awesome, I have to admit. Well, we would go up that way, except it's blocked. I know what we have to do for that, so... Ignore my previous statement. We are gonna head this way. And you'll see why. Um, this room can be kind of tricky. It's similar to the room in the... Oh, shit. Yeah, I, f I remember what to do now. Need to be a Deku and hop in the flower. But that's not the only thing you need to do. It's kind of cool how when you're down in a flower like this, you go like that, and it just opens right back up. Now hop in this one and get up quickly. 
Ooh, not quickly enough. That's okay. We get the epic intro again. Okay, go, 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 go. Gonna go ahead and get in this one immediately. Uh, now that is quicker. There we go. Because that switch opens that, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, this is similar to the room in the forest temple in Ocarina. Both temples, or temples, that's true, but both games really... I shouldn't even say that, because it's really this game that harkens on a lot of ideas that um, Ocarina of Time had. And a lot of them are great ideas, of course, and make for good games, so whatever. It's interesting, though, just how many ideas Nintendo must have been like, Oh yeah, this is good, this is good, keep this, keep this, keep that, keep that, and all that. That worked perfectly. And that's really the only one we have to worry about. I want to say there may be something hidden in the room? Okay, no, there's not. There are just two different ways to get across it. And we made the left-handed way more easily accessible. Oh, dear. There we go. You need to quit cramping our style. Okay, there we go. And now we can just hop to... Yes. Can we just hop to that one? Oh, well, there we go. Wait. What? There must be a switch. I think it's on the other side there. There we go. So we will hop on over there. I apologize, I don't normally forget this much about the game, but... Okay, it's not here. This is so bizarre. Is it... It must be over there, then. Am I crazy? What? Oh! Okay, okay. Sorry, momentary lapse in uh, intellect. I guess you could say. Yeah, yeah. Well, just ignore my stupidity and let the awesome music take over for you. It's pretty lucky that that hit over there. Didn't look like it'd be far enough to jump, but... Ooh! Okay, there we go. Blue bubbles, no! Okay, good. In all honesty, it wouldn't have mattered. At least, not immediately, but... Still, it would have been annoying. Alright, and we're up top. We really could fight up Garrow anywhere, couldn't we? Um, ah yes, this is something that we need to do. I want to say when I hit that switch, I can hop over. I'm gonna... Can I? Yes. Whoa, that was too far almost. Okay. As you can see, over there's our prize. Wait a second. No, never mind. Go back, go back, go back, go back. We cannot do that yet. Because there's one main thing we need to do out here that involves um, hitting a switch somewhere. And maybe... No, we cannot get inside... From, but that is where the other way leads out to. Basically. Um, one of... Th that switch over there. That's the one. And that was a heart piece um, that we were about to get. 
that's pretty easy to get. Nothing really noteworthy about it. I'll get it off screen, I guess. Or no, never mind. I misjudged once again, and I thought this was a little farther away. There. That's what we've been needing. But I think... Yeah. If we go back this way, we can still get that heart piece. I'll just get it real quick. Not have the... You know... I knew that was going to happen the minute I started hearing that music. I was looking around, I saw it coming, but I was just like, no, I'll just go for it. But I was like, oh, fuck, I can't believe this is this is really going to happen, isn't it? And of course it did. So yeah, this is it basically what the um, removing of the thing did for us. So there we go. Oh no! Reedheads, what are we gonna do? Make them dance. <laughs> Some of them do the can-can. And... We forgot to get rid of those things, so... There we go. And some do a dance that I don't know what the hell it is. Whatever. Just die and give me your rupees. I'm so glad this game teaches me good morals, like kill everybody and take their money from them. Oh no, it's Wizrobe. Yeah, he's he's still here, and unfortunately we don't have our map to show us the red dot where he is, but we'll do without it for now. He's still really not that much of a challenge. Ah. Ooh, he disappears when you try to shoot too quickly, of course. Oh, I thought he was going to move that time. Oh no, he runs around like a train, like he always does. Okay, got him. I didn't realize Tattle actually focuses on the one that's the real enemy. So that makes it double easier, along with having him on the map if you have it. Robe. You're really not a decent challenge of an enemy. I'm sorry. More Redeads that are dancing. Who cares? Don't need to kill them for money. Okay, let's adorn ourselves appropriately. No, not the Mask of Sense. I don't think I will ever be using that. I mean, it might be useful in one particular area. That area being something that we've passed a long time ago. By the way, it also works with the captain's hat. Just explode already. But no, the Mask of Sense may be the most pointless mask. I'm not quite sure. They go down easily in the light, of course, because they are creatures of darkness. So, am I the only one who feels like this has been an entire temple all on its own? That's what it feels like, at least. It's gone on forever. Um, quick thing. Fire arrows, captain's hat, and... Bremen's Mask. You will find out why in a minute. But this... I don't think I'm spoiling anything. This is going to be a fight. And there are a couple Easter eggs about this fight. And some of the unthinkable in Dual Land as dark as Icona. The unthinkable being light, I think. Uh, or the light that guides you... Yeah, this is all a very dark part of the game. Icona in general, especially... Or, yeah, the canyon in general, especially the palace, is all very... I don't know. True darkness really is. Yeah. These guys. 
So get out the Bremen's mask. You'll see why in a second. I almost I already kind of spoiled it because I thought I had my sword out. But these are basically two um, guards that you have to fight, and they're really not that hard. They are if you're just fighting them nonsensically, like myself. But uh, once you put the Bremen's mask on and start using it around them, they get confused, and then... Yay! <laughs> This is pretty awesome, but silly. Oh, do they do it forever? Maybe? Yeah. Um, but then when you stop, they forget what they're doing, and then you can attack them easily. Come on. There we go. Oh shit, one of them's already down. Okay, here's the thing. When you have to do this, bring the light back in, Um, and once they're down, shine the light on them. Uh, but they have to be close to you or else it won't reach them, uh, sensibly. I have to admit, they're pretty annoying fighters. Okay, seriously guys, can you make me want to do the cheap method again? Okay. Oh, come on, that should have worked. Okay, there he goes, and... Yep, and then they disappear like that. Now, you really only need one of these drapes, I guess, gone. But, um... We're gonna go ahead and... Oh, never mind. Oh yeah, we have to fight this guy, too. Second Easter egg. Put on the captain's hat. And then this scene happens. Yeah, he's amazed that Captain Kida, who he thought was dead. You're so... Tiny! <laughs> yeah. Must never speak of that moment again. Okay. Is he just shooting a cold wind at us? That's intense. Alright, now we have both of them, and again, I don't think we need both, but we have it just because. So you fight him basically the same way. Damn it. Oh. No. Yeah, they get kind of annoying. It's good to have the um, best sword for this fight because they're so strong. Um, we're actually getting a little low on health. Can you give us a heart piece? Of course not. Okay, this won't do anything for the fight, but bunny hood. And you know, just to experiment. Aw figured as much, but I thought I'd give it a try. No! Go away! Ugh, seriously? Oh, I think he just... Yeah! Then this happens. Um, his head starts flying around, and this is why it's good to have the bunny hood in this fight. Because it's pretty freaking fast. And it... It's kind of undodgeable? Maybe not, but... Whatever. I don't... Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm kind of going at a... leisurely pace for this fight, because I don't remember exactly the best way to go about it, but maybe once his head is... No, damn it. Oh, come on, that should have done some damage, come on. Can't lose this goddamn fight. Okay, just... Oh, got him, got him. Okay, there we go. And basically he gets the same treatment as his goonies. And this is kind of a funny gutscene. 
I'm going to get him. There's a feeble. Okay. <laughs> and then they bicker back and forth, similar to the ghosts from Casper. Best swordsman in all of Icona. Feeble. Love it. <laughs> but this is great, actually, too. Draw your sword. How? Walk, 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 walk. Ah, thanks for coming, ladies and gentlemen. Those are the two Icona soldiers. Hilarious, all right? Oh, they ki those kids are going places. Uh, everyone has left us in a state. Some kind of morality, I guess. I don't know. Leading your friends and embracing belief. Faith, feeling, uh, cares. Uh, somebody thrust open the doors of the stone tower. That being the skull kid, of course. Was that Igor de Akana? I don't know. I'm a guest broken by the language you carried. Return light to the screen. You must, uh... The winds of darkness blow through. Very interesting description, honestly. Would not even be able to topple it. He only had two soldiers, though. A soldier who has no heart. And all of that, going beneath the well, and doing the stupid temple, or castle, I guess, to learn the freaking song to get into the temple of the area. I always thought that was so much work to do for just a stupid song. It's really, this is the worst song in the game, I think. It's discordant, it's just, it sounds creepy, and of course, the worst part about it is it produces the creepiest thing in the entire game! Yes, the statues for all of us who play the song are really disturbing, and it makes you wonder who looked at that and said, Yeah, okay, that's good. Ugh, he's just standing behind me. Creepy. Can I get some heart pieces, please? Nothing? Okay, whatever. Oh no, I ain't fighting them again. I was about to say, it sounded like the music just disappeared. Heart pieces! Thank you. Alright, so now... After all of that, we are finally... We really have all the necessary things to get into the stone tower, but we'll be doing that next segment. For now, I'm just gonna go drop off all of our 500 rupees to our banker friend, get as far away from that creepy-ass statue as possible. Yeah, yeah, there's that whole creepy pasta, Ben drowned, whatever. I'm not gonna really talk about that. It's a very interesting read, but I don't know. I remember seeing the videos, and they're... they're I'm not really scared by them, but I'm easily startled, is what it is. And so the jump scares, like the cutting to the happy mask salesman, and the creepy screams and all that stuff got to me when I first saw it. But now it's just like, eh, whatever. Um, next time we'll be getting into the tower. Oh yeah, we have a thousand rupees. And he give us five... That's not too shabby. Yes, it is! That's what they call interest. That's what they call fuck you, you cheapskate! Anyway. So yeah, next time we will go to Stone Tower. And I might get into some of the interesting story and lore behind it. Um, so look forward to that. And yeah. We'll see what we can see next time, and I'll get that heart piece off screen. It was stupid for the stupid way to knock me out of the air like that, but whatever. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Until next time, see you all later.